here at Arm Booth here at Mobile World Congress 2013. So who are you? I'm Chris, I work with the Mali demo team and I'm here to show you a couple of render script and OpenCL demos, so GPGPU on uh, the Mali T604. So uh, the first demo I can show you is this. This is face detection. Uh, as you can see, we are running this currently on the CPU and we are maxing out one core and uh, the second core usually sits at around 60. So 80% uh, normalized uh, CPU usage there. And we are only getting 2.6 there. Uh, three is about as high as it usually gets, maybe four sometimes detections for that and you know it's having a hard time tracking me as I move around and it will switch to an OpenCL version which is running on the GPU and uh, for the GPU version we get or immediately 14.7 it goes as high as about 16 normally sits around uh, you know 14 and uh, for that the CPU load drops way way down and uh, so you're, you're getting a power saving there because you can clock down that CPU and by moving that workload onto a GPU which is uh, obviously you get more performance per watt on a GPU than on a CPU so huge performance gains and power savings across the board. How do you do that? Uh, it's just, a, you know, it's part of the process, you know. I mean, a GPU usually sits at around 533 megahertz maximum. CPU 1.7 gig is a completely different type of processor, you know. It's, it's designed for different workloads. So for a parallel workload, you, you, work, you move that workload over to the GPU and you see uh, you know, huge performance benefits as well as power saving. It's what that core is designed for, and you can clock down that CPU core as well. So basically, using the same GPU that does the games. Exactly. But yeah. instead of doing a game, you would do some kind of compute. Yeah, I mean, you can do both at once as well. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Uh, but in this case, we're just using it for compute. Yeah. And that's the first time it's been used on ARM chip is uh, T604. T604 is the first GPU that supports uh, OpenCL and RenderScript compute. Uh, we are first to market with both. Uh, the Nexus 10, for example. I'll move on to that now. So the Nexus yeah. 10 here, we're running Android and we're showing a render script demo. Essentially what we're doing is we're running a number of filtering uh, like filters over some images. First of all, we do that on the CPU and we time that. And then we do the same thing on the GPU and time that as well. And uh, we show you uh, the factor difference. So here it's 30 times faster for bicubic on GPU than on CPU. And uh, you know, the nominal range there will be between about four and six times faster. But again, we're moving that workload over to the GPU, which is a much lower power process. We are gaining huge amounts of performance and we can clock down the CPU side as well. So the takeaway is it's uh, a lot more performance for a lot less uh, battery usage. Nice, is that a different demo or is it something else? Uh, this is a similar demo, this is a same application. Here we can show, uh, you know, we can apply a number of filters to a live feed. So here we're using the CPU, okay? And uh, we're at about 23 FPS. Let's, uh, let's add a Sobel filter. So we're able to get about nine FPS there by running on the CPU. But by moving to the GPU, that goes right up to around 21. Nice. 22, 23, so you know, we're doubling the performance there. And again, it's uh, lower power by moving to the GPU. That's cool. All right. What awesome. is this? Awesome. Uh, I can swap to another demo. We have a CL benchmark demo from Kashanti. I'll just swap that over. What do you call this board? This is the Arndale board. So this is a, a Samsung Exynos 5 Dual, which is a quad-core Mali T604 GPU and a dual-core Cortex-A15 CPU. Uh, it's exactly the same silicon as in the Nexus 10 and the Chromebook. They all use the Exynos 5 Dual. This, uh, this came out maybe a month or so before the Nexus 10. It's a development board like any other, you know, developers can get this ahead of time and start writing their applications for the hardware. So, uh, developers are going crazy with GPU compute? Absolutely. Uh, so, you know, GPU compute's been going for a, a while now. It's steadily gaining traction. We're getting a lot of interest from uh, AV guys. We're getting a lot of interest from CV guys, like Computer Vision. Uh, also, image processing is an obvious use case for GPU GPU. We're working with some uh, middleware vendors to port physics engines over to the GPU for use with uh, games. And uh, yeah, a high performance compute, also a huge use case. We're seeing a lot of interest from those segments. How hard is it uh, to program for GPU compute? Uh, I mean, it's an API, basically. It's, as, it's about as difficult as writing for graphics. Uh, you have OpenGL for graphics, OpenCL for uh, compute. It is really, it's, it's not much different. In the same way as you write shaders for glares, you write uh, kernels for CL. So uh, developer can figure it out? Or yeah, yeah, I mean, we... need to be like a we offer, GPU compute to figure it out? So we offer an SDK for GLES on our website, marleydeveloper.com. 
We also offer a CL SDK for the same purpose. You know, there's a lot of example code there, a lot of uh, sample projects, and we know we can help you get going. Visit us on the forums and we'll help you out. What is, what, is it booted yet? Yeah, so this is the CL benchmark from Kashanti. Uh, at the moment, this is showing you a render script, uh, sorry, render script. This is showing you a ray tracing uh, benchmark. So the idea here is to really stress the system. So we're trying to, uh, we're trying to render a full scene using ray tracing. Uh, this is a desktop benchmark, okay? So we are the only mobile silicon that can run this particular benchmark because we support OpenCL 1.1 full profile on the Mali T600 GPUs. So basically showing that it works or? Oh yeah, absolutely. Would so be a result at the end or? Uh, well, this is just showing that it works. Uh, essentially, they didn't need to modify any of the kernels to get them working. Like a lot of our competitors only support uh, CL embedded profile. They also only support filter script rather than render script. Filter script is a much smaller subset of render script. Whereas we support full render script, full open CL 1.1, full profile. Uh, eventually, this will change over to a physics demonstration as well, also running on the GPU. So how much of the GPU compute can you do on a Chrome OS Chromebook like this? Uh, I am not entirely certain if they have CL uh, with the Chromebook yet. Are you demonstrating something in the browser? Well, this is actually it? WebGL, so this is a graphics demonstration. Uh, here we're basically showing the sort of uh, graphical quality that you can achieve from within a browser using the T600 GPUs. This is the arm part Chromebook doing some crazy 3D stuff. Yeah, that's correct. So it's, uh, it's rendering, but it's rendering from within a browser. Nice. Cool. And yeah, here we have the... Uh, physics demonstration so we have uh, several hundred uh, small balls and we're uh, we're sort of uh, we're calculating the physics interactions between those balls as they rotate around in a cube and yeah you can really see the power of GP GPU this wouldn't really be possible on a CPU right, and yeah. we're actually beating we get better scores for this benchmark than core i3 i5 and i7 and you can go on Kashanti's website and confirm that you get better scores than Core i7. Yeah, a battery-powered mobile SoC beats mains-fed Core i3 and i5 and i7 processors at this benchmark. And uh, what's called, how much is the power difference, like 100? Uh, oh, you'd have to check the website, yeah. I'm sure. Do you have more demos showing open? Uh, yeah, so there's one final one. This is the Mali flag demo. Here you can see uh, we're actually deforming 6,144 vertices. And to do that on the CPU, we're only getting 4.6 frames a second, and it's maxing out both cores there. Uh, but it will switch over to the GPU, where we do twice as many. So 12,288 vertices. We're getting 35 FPS there, and uh, CPUs usually normalize out to about 10% each. So that's an 18 times performance improvement. And again, by, doing, by moving that workload over to the GPU, you're saving power, and you know, you're getting a lot more performance. So how much of a regular device is going to be able to enjoy all this huge speed? So currently the devices that support this are the Nexus 10 has uh, T604 and we have render script for GPU, GPU compute. The Chromebook's out. Currently I'm not sure what the support is there. And uh, the Arndale board at the moment is what we're running CL on. So for Android, render script is really how you're going to take advantage of this. And we, you know, as more and more T600 powered devices come out, you're going to be able to take it's advantage going to be an of that. Android, it's going to be apps that are written to support it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we've already demoed uh, one or two apps here, and uh, there's a lot more interest from developers. The web browser could use it? Yeah, WebKit is uh, optimized for Glaze for rendering. It would be interesting to see if they could use RenderScript as well. Cool.